will I always live in LA? Um, I fight that thought because <laughs> I feel like I'm building a lot of things here and, you know, um, I'm trying to get some, some artwork into galleries and our band into shows and all our band members are here and all these people I'm connecting with are here. And um, so all that's really great. And my husband's here and his family's here. And, um, and there's a big uh, Spanish speaking population. And so for him, it's really good. And, and I enjoy that part too, like having such a big kind of uh, influence from the South. But, um, but I just, there's something that really fights me being here. <laughs> so it's a big, it's a big contradiction. I don't know. I want to say no, but then at the same time, I feel like I'm so kind of entrenched in what's going on that I can't say. I don't know. <laughs> so the best would be, well, I really liked, I really liked West Hollywood because it felt like a, a community. They're, they're really concerned about, they have this kind of community organization that sends out flyers about, you know, don't let your landlord charge you too much. And, and they had recycling and, and it felt like it wasn't so pristine that, you know, no one was out in the streets, but people were generally pretty careful about respecting the neighborhoods and stuff. Um, this area, I like that it's close to things and we walk to our, our little uh, produce market down the street and can get lots of produce, two bags of produce for $20. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> and then uh, the, all the, the kind of fast food restaurants are quick across the street if we ever need something really quick. And then Best Buy. We kind of go <laughs> to our Best Buy when we're hot <laughs> to look at all the new things that have come out. And, but I don't like the fact that it's really cramped. It's hard to, there aren't any parks or anything nearby. Whereas in West Hollywood, it was hard to get there because it was really tight traffic-wise, but there are lots of parks and places to walk around. When I first moved here, I really, really hated it. And everyone kept saying, uh, oh, no, no, give it, you've got to give it five years. And then you'll start feeling, you know, like you're part of the city and, and you won't feel as, you know, isolated. And... Um, you know, I'm going on my fifth year, and yeah, you know, I, I've certainly learned to know and grow more in terms of the acceptance of the city. But, you know, there's things that are never going to change. You know, uh, traffic <laughs> is one of them. Housing has been a really major um, disappointment for us here because, you know, we had a lovely home in Chicago, um, and um, we foolishly like two years ago just started looking at at places that we might consider buying we just couldn't justify you know the amount of space that you were going to get and how ugly they were for what they were asking the benefit of living out here is the weather i mean for me that's that's just primarily it even in the harshest coldest days i mean it doesn't get below 50. And you know, I, I don't mean to just say that uh, the weather is the only thing that is of value here. The opportunities for me have been terrific. They've been really, you know, I, I wouldn't trade them for the world. I mean, the wonderful thing about LA is that you can come here and pretty much re-kind of uh, configure your, yourself, you know, and rediscover who you are and all of that. Um, and I suppose you could do that in, in other cities as well, but here, because th there, there seems to be more of uh, an acceptance of that, you know, where I think <laughs> in Chicago, if, you, if you're 50 and you kind of make the decision, yeah, you know, I'm going to try this acting thing, or people will look at you and go, what? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind owning a home here and coming here, you know, seasonally, but obviously that's not going to happen, so... <laughs> It's everyday traffic, 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 traffic. More people, more cars. Easy. <laughs> 45 minutes, one hour, sometimes maybe two hours. Everybody's busy. Everybody wants to be famous. Everybody is running. Uh, nobody stops to ask you how do you feel every day. Um, it's tough to find friends, a real friend. Uh, I'm coming from Argentina and, and we know a, Every, everybody knows everybody, you know. I can be in the, in the front of my house with a lot of friends 
And in this country, when I came here, it was totally different. Everybody's working every day. You have to do what you have to do. LA is beautiful, you know, but it's tough. Because I, when I was in Argentina, my, my dad was telling me, hey, you're going to come to LA. Uh, here you're going to have opportunity to uh, go to school, play music, uh, work every day. And I say, wow, I'm going to do everything that I want. And no, man, <laughs> when I came here, it, it was not easy for me to find a job because, of, because I didn't know how to speak English first. So I used to... Uh, clean <laughs> you know you don't speak English you have to clean um, but now that I you know I can communicate uh, I can find different opportunities I would love to play rock and roll all my life it's what I have in my heart and I grew up listening to rock and roll every day every single day like I told you in this city everybody wants to be famous I don't want it I just want to have fun with my band because I think when you're famous you lose your mind and that is what I want I don't want to lose I just want to have a good band uh, go outside and play in some clubs and that's it you know and have fun that is the, the, the main thing when I was little I used to live right near the beach and I always loved the beach you know I like I grew. I was like a beach bum when I was a little little kid, and, and I'm not. I'm not really like that anymore. But I really like. I've always liked the beach and the ocean, and I love that I can go down there anytime I want, and it's always open, and I can just go and sit on the beach, like Venice Beach. I've really become like a Venice Beach bum, I guess you could say, but like more than than I was before. I'm not gonna like go to college in LA. I'm not gonna. I'm not really gonna like live here my whole life, but I know I will be back after I've seen the rest of the world or what I can or want to see. Cause I wanna, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I definitely wanna get out of the United States as soon as possible and just to see what, what it's like living in other places. But I'll always have a home here. I like my coffee shop right on Venice. I like my neighborhood. I like my school in Culver City. Culver City is a, it's pretty funny because they tried to go and they it's like it feels like they tried to make Culver City really hip and everything, but no one, no one really goes there. So I feel bad for Culver City. <laughs> Maybe one day it'll get its glory, but I don't know. So I, I like that about LA though that you can go and you can find everything here. You can find you know. Every kind of music you want, like, you can find every kind of person, you can find, you know, Scientologists, you know, talking with some, you know, bookkeeper or something, and, you know, everyone, it's just a really diverse city, because it's so big, and, um, I've grown up here, I lived here my whole life, I'm 16, and, uh, I really, I don't know if I'd want to live anywhere else. Well, at least now, I, I don't know if I would, I mean, I, I think that uh, it works pretty well as a city, and uh, other cities, uh, they're just, I don't know, they're, they, it seems like other cities want to be L.A.